Hello everyone, as usual, I'd like to say how are you and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful modified chromal stitches for purse. This is what the results look like. Well everyone, now be ready and let's get started. The material I use for creating these patterns are two different colors of cotton yarns, a crochet hook number 2.20mm, the best ring needle, button, and a pair of scissors. Firstly, make a slip knot. This pattern is the multiple of 2, then make 44, then 16 plus 1. The 44 basic chains are now ready. Then make one more chain. This chain is the turning chain. Then make one single crochet in each of the stitches until the end of this row. The first row of single crochet for the base of this purse is ready. I made 7 rows that consist of 8 side stitches. This is what it looks like. Don't forget to pull the stitch marker at the last stitch because by putting this stitch marker you will know the starting point of your project. Then to make this purse perfectly. You need to peel out four of these eight stitch with two single crochet. This is the last stitch. This is the first eight stitch. You need to put two single crochet in it. This one is the second eight stitch. You need to put two single crochet in it. This one is the third one. You need to put two single crochet in it. And this last stitch is the fourth side stitch. You need to peel out this stitch with two single crochet. Now let, let's continue the work. Make one single crochet in each of these side stitches. One single crochet. You need to look carefully at the stitch you're gonna make single crochet and be careful. You need to know that you are making the single crochet in the correct stitches. When you come to the first 8 stitch, you need to put 2 single crochet in it. This one is the first 8 stitch. You need to make 2 single crochet. 1. This one is 2. Then move to uh, this side. You need to peel off each of these stitches with 1 single crochet. This one is the second eight stitch. You need to make two single crochet in it. One double crochet, sorry, one single crochet, two single crochet. Then move to the next stitches. Make one single crochet in each of these side stitches. One single crochet. Be careful, be sure that you, uh, you are making a single crochet in the correct stitches. Keep making one single crochet. One single crochet. This one is the third eight stitch. You need to make two single crochet in it. One, two. Then move to this side and make one single crochet in each of these stitches. One single crochet, one single crochet. Can make a one single crochet in each of the next stitch until you arrive at the fourth eight stitch. This one is the 4th 8th stitch, remove the stitch marker, 
then make two single crochet in the stitch where we have put the stitch marker one two the base for this purse is ready and this is what it looks like now I'm going to show you how to make the main pattern firstly make slip stitch in the next one stitch then make chain one turn the way make one single crochet in the next one stitch this is from the inner side of this purse Then make one single crochet in each of the next stitches. This first row of single crochet is made from the inner side of this purse. Please remember you need to turn the work and make a single crochet for the first row from the inner side of this purse. One single crochet, one single crochet. This is two last stitch. This is one last stitch, and this one is the last stitch. Of this row make one last single crochet in this stitch then make a slip stitch on the top of the very first single crochet it is here you need to make a slip stitch here okay the first row of single crochet is ready then make chain one then turn the work again now we're going to make the second row of single crochet this second row is made from the other side of this purse make first single crochet on the next one stitch then make another single crochet in the next one stitch this is what it looks like then continue to make one single crochet in each of the next stitches to complete this second row please remember that the second row is made from the outer side of this purse this one is the last stitch the last single crochet of the second row make slip stitch on top of the very first single crochet okay done then for the third row, start with chain one, turn the work, then make one single crochet from the inner side of this purse, make it on the stitch on the next one stitch, one single crochet, then make one single crochet in the next one stitch, one single crochet in the next one stitch, okay, making one single crochet in each of the stitches to complete this third row. Please note that this third row of single crochet is made from the inner side of this purse. This is the last one, so make a slip stitch on the top of the very first single crochet. Like this. Now I'm going to make the caramel pattern. I will use the cream yarn. I have made a slip knot. Then I will do your number to join this cream yarns with this brown yarn. Make it carefully and fasten the yarn. Pull up this brown yarn to begin. Make one single crochet in the same stitch. Skip these first three stitches and make first chromal stitch in the next three lower stitches. This is the first one, this one is the second one. This one is the third one. There are four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull it through all loops. The first chromal stitch is done. Then move to the next one stitch. Make one single crochet. Then move to the next three lower stitches. This is the first one, the second one, the third one. Make the second chromal stitch. This is the first stitch. This one is the second one. This one is the third one. There are four loops in the hook, yarn over, pull it through all loops. Okay, the distance between the first and the second chromal stitch is one stitch. Then move to uh, the next one stitch, make one single crochet. Then make the third chromal stitch. Identify this first three lower stitch first. One, two, three, the distance between uh, the, the second and the third chromal stitch are one stitch. 
Okay, there are four loops on the hook, you know very fully through all loops. Three caramel stitches are done, then make one single crochet next one stitch. Identify the three lower stitch you're gonna make the caramel stitch or identify the distance between the previous caramel stitch with the new one, then start to make the caramel stitch. One, two, and this one is three. There are four loops on the hook, you never pull it through all loops. Move to the next stitches, make one single crochet. Repeat again, identify three lower stitch you're gonna make the chromal stitch. If you don't know which stitch you're gonna make the chromal stitch, you need to identify the distance between the previous and the new chromal stitches. There are only one stitches between them. Then there are four loops on the hook, you never pull it through all loops. This is the last caramel stitch, make one single crochet. This one is the first single crochet, we need to ignore that. Then make the last caramel stitch in this three lower stitch. Two, three, there are four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull it through all loops. Then make a slip stitch on the top of the very first caramel stitch. Sorry, on the top of the very first single crochet before the caramel stitch. Make a slip stitch there. Okay, the first uh, caramel stitch are done. This is what it looks like. Then we need to move to the next row. Firstly, make chain one. Then turn the work. This part we're gonna make three rows of single crochet. The first row is smashed from the inner side of this purse, just like before. Make one single crochet in each of the stitches. The second row of single crochet is smashed from the other side of this purse. And the third row of the single crochet is smashed from the inner side of this purse. You need to make is you need to start from uh, the inner side, the outer side and back to the inner side. Complete this first. Let me do this first. Okay, this is uh two last stitches of the third row of single crochet. Let me finish this one. Then and this one is the last single crochet. Then Make a slip stitch on the top of the very first single crochet. As what I said before, the third row of single crochet is made from the inner side of this purse. Then change the yarn color to make the chromo stitch. The chromo stitch is always made from the outer side of this purse. So you need to start with chain one, then make a single crochet in the next one stitch this stitch you need to make a single crochet then carefully identify three lower stitch where you're gonna make uh, the caramel stitch this one this is the first one this one is the second one this one is the third one it's easy for you to identify this second row of caramel stitch then make one single crochet in each one stitch then make the second caramel stitch you need to identify the three lower stitch we're gonna make the caramel stitch or identify the distance between the previous and the new caramel stitch this is uh, the first the first stitch this is uh, the second lower stitch this one is the third lower stitch have a look the distance between the first or uh, the first and the second caramel stitch is one stitch make one single crochet in the next one stitch then make the third caramel stitch just like before you need to identify either the distance between the previous and the new caramel stitch or three lower stitches where you're gonna make the caramel stitch you can identify both then repeat these patterns until you get the high you desire this is the last caramel stitch for this project. Let me complete this first. There are four loops on the hook. You'll never pull it through all loops. Then make a slip stitch on the top of the, the single crochet. Okay, the main pattern for this purse is ready. This is what it looks like. It's so unique and looks so beautiful. Then I'm gonna make a slip stitch. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna make a single crochet all through these stitches. 
make single crochet on the top of the chromo stitch and one single crochet on the top of the previous single crochet make one single crochet on the top of the chromo stitch and one single crochet on the top of the previous single crochet to make it easy for you don't forget to pull the stitch markers so you'll know where to start the project but it's okay if you don't like uh, the Buddha stitch marker it's not the big issue as long as you know uh, where to end and where to start the project it's okay for you to not putting the stitch marker on it okay I'm gonna show you where to make uh, the strap hooker I'm gonna make it on the middle of this purse I will make it here to make it easy for me I'll put a stitch marker before I continue the work Then I will continue to work with one single crochet until I arrive at the stitch marker. I've got to tell you that we are no longer use this uh, creamy yarn, so you can cut it. Now continue to make one single crochet in the upper neck stitches, one single crochet on the top of the chromal stitch, and one single crochet on the top of the previous single crochet. I can make it that until I arrive at the next stitch marker, which is this one. I will remove this stitch marker then I will make around uh, 46 basic chains as a strap hooker uh, this one is the third chain so I put a stitch marker on it then I continue to make 16 more chains Sixteen more chains from the stitch marker. Okay, it's ready. Now remove the stitch marker. Then make a slip stitch on that stitch. This one is back loop slip stitch. Continue to make one back loop slip stitch of the next stitches until you arrive at the beginning of the strap hooker. One back loop slip stitch. One back loop slip stitch. And then when you are here, you need to make one single crochet edge of the next stitches until you wrap the right side of this strap hooker. Make one single crochet edge of the next stitches. This is the right side of this uh, strap hooker. Fill off each of these stitches with one single crochet. Keep making one single crochet in each of the next stitches, but this part single crochet is made through the back loop only. It is called the back loop single crochet, so make one back loop single crochet in each of the next stitches until you arrive at the beginning of this strap hooker. This is the beginning of the strap hooker. Make a uh, one back loop single crochet. Make the last back loop single crochet on this last stitch then make two single crochet together through these two stitches there are three loops on the hook you know we're pulling through all these three loops after that continue to make one single crochet edge of the next stitches until you arrive at the right side of this strap hooker make one single crochet one single crochet this is the right side of this strap hooker 
Make two single crochet together through these two stitches. Make first incomplete single crochet in this stitch and make another incomplete single crochet in the next one stitch. There are three loops on the hook, you know, we pull it through these three loops. Continue to make one single crochet in each of the next stitches until the middle of this strap hooker. When you are here, put a stitch marker on the stitch at the middle of this strap hooker. This is the middle stitch. Then you need to make two single crochet in these three stitches before the stitch marker. And, and on these two stitches after the stitch marker. This means that there are six stitches including all the stitch where you pull the stitch marker need to be filled with two single crochet. Before that, let me make one single crochet in each of the next stitches before you arrive on those three stitches before the stitch marker. Fill each of these stitches with one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet. Okay, make it one single crochet in each of the next stitches, one single crochet. This is the last one to be filled with one single crochet. Now we arrive at the three stitches before the stitch marker. Make two single crochet in each of these uh, three stitches. Make two single crochet. This is one and this one is two. Make two single crochet in this next one stitch. Two single crochet in this one stitch remove the stitch marker make two single crochet in that stitch in this stitch sorry make two single crochet in the next one stitch then Make two single crochet in the last next one stitch. This is what it looks like. Then continue the work with one single crochet. This means make one single crochet in each of the next stitches to complete this strap hooker. One single crochet, one single crochet. When you are here, there are two stitches left. Make two single crochet together. There are Three loops on the hook, you'll never pull it through these three loops. Then continue the work by making one single crochet edge of the next stitches until you arrive at the beginning point. This is the beginning point of this single crochet row. I'm gonna end the stitch here. This is uh, the last stitch. I'm gonna cut the yarn. And finally, this piece is ready. It looks so beautiful and adorable. This is how to use this strap hooker. Don't forget to sew on the button in the middle of this purse. Finally, it's complete. Well, everyone, hope you like this pattern. And if you have something to say about it, feel free to leave your comment below. See you again in the next video, have a good day, happy crochets, assalamualaikum and don't forget to subscribe.